the distinguished delegate of Indonesia to make a statement. Madam President, let me begin by congratulating you on your assumption to the presidency of the 71st session of the UN General Assembly. It's a great honor for me to stand here and share Indonesia's perspective on this year's General Assembly. Indonesia is proud to be the 11th largest police and troops contribution to the United Nations peacekeeping operations with over 2,700 personnel, and yet my country is prepared to contribute more in the future. At this opportunity, I would like to convey my sincere appreciation to the UN Secretary General for her leadership and steadfastness in the process. Sectarian conflicts, including the threat of ISIS, continue to threaten political stability and cause a multitude of humanitarian crises in the Middle East, especially in Syria, Libya, Yemen, and elsewhere. Radicalism, violent extremism, and terrorism continue to pose as serious global threats. Indonesia has consistently played its role in addressing these threats, including their underlying root causes, among others through interfaith and intercultural dialogue, sharing of best practices in counterterrorism, as well as strengthening international cooperation. Indonesia has also set successful example in resolving conflict through dialogue and peaceful means. We must work together in realizing peace and prosperity for our peoples. We have to stop conflicts and eradicate global inequality. We have to stop the spread of radicalism and violent extremism. With regard to Palestine, we must ensure the realization of the SDGs in a timely manner. Finally, let me conclude by stating that the world today rely on the UN to create world order and peace and equitable prosperity to guarantee security for the global community and to fully implement the principles of human rights as enshrined in the UN Charter. And for that purpose, the UN needs all the support from each and every member. Thank you.